Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. <laughs> The featured item for this video is this Jada Transformers metal figure. This was something that popped up in my suggested items while I was shopping on Amazon the other day. I've never seen this before, so he was only $14.99. Figured what the hell, I'd go ahead and pick him up. Now I have quite a few Jada items. I've got these Jada Nano Autobot and Decepticon vehicles right here, and I've got the Jada big Optimus Prime cab that came out a couple years ago. So I knew that I'm getting a quality figure. So taking a quick look at the packaging, he is electronic. A little try me switch there on the inside, but we'll look at that more when I open him up. You've got the figure, looks like a energy axe, his ion blaster, great generation one artwork there on the side, metal figs, Autobot, Optimus Prime, and I'll let you guys know this this is heavy. There's some weight to this guy. On the back, you have the Generation 1 Autobot artwork for some reason that is upside down. I didn't even notice that until right now. And there is Bumblebee. So there was only two of these figures available. You had Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. I didn't really like the Bumblebee figure, so I kind of left him sitting at Amazon. But it is pretty cool that he comes with two blasters. He's got his G1 blaster here and his pretender blaster so i do like that so now without any further ado let's get this figure opened up out of his packaging and check him out now once you get optimus prime i'll open up out of the packaging you see he does come with a sheet of instructions which more or less tell you how to install the batteries and that his head can move and he's got an interchangeable wrist now there's batteries already included in this guy so you don't have to worry about this Let's see here, there's important warnings in all different languages and more fine print. So taking a closer look at the figure, this guy is really cool. And like I said, he is heavy. I think he is all metal, the chest and pretty much down to the feet is metal. The arms, they're plastic, the feet's plastic and the head is plastic lots of great molded detail on this guy he's got a nice shine to him great paint applications autobot logo looks really good back of the figure lots more detail no scuffing whatsoever the last metal fig i got was the little mini ones they were a little scuffed up but this guy looks awesome now let's see what the electronic feature is you press there on the grill that's i think his eyes light up let me get some lights off here all right let's try this again oh yeah his eyes light up and i think they must be on a timer because i keep pushing the button and nothing happens so that is cool let's see if they go off there we go so yeah little light feature that is on a timer so i dig that that's really cool so get the lights back on now he has his ion blaster here it's a square handle. He's got a square hole right there on the fist. 
So there he is with his ion blaster. Oh, he got some articulation too. Looks like the arms can go, looks like they can do a complete 360. Oh, they're on a ball joint. That's cool. Both arms. Well, that one's really tight. That one's not moving at all. So maybe only the right arm is on a ball joint, but it looks like that one is, but man, that is not moving. The head is on a rotation. No, it stops right there. It can't do a complete 360. So you've got the right arm that can move on a ball joint and the head is just on a swivel. Nothing for the legs. Still, that's a pretty cool little dude. Now he's got the energy axe here. So let's take off the ion blaster and I guess you just pull his hand off. Maybe. I hate when you get a brand new figure and to make those popping and snapping noises. All right, we're going to do this off screen. Okay, now that took some work. That was in there really, really tight. You can see, see the imprint of his fist on my finger and thumb right there. So that went in really good. I wonder if the electronics is in there on the fist. Nope, just the eyes. That would have been cool if there was a light in there to make the axe glow. So we'll pop that in. Once again, really tight. Jeez. Okay, another struggle, but I've got the Energon axe or the Energy axe in. And that looks really cool. I like the translucent plastic. That is awesome looking. So yeah, a really cool figure from Jada. So... Like I said, I got him from Amazon.com. He was only $14.99. Highly recommended. That's a really cool figure, and I think it's going to look great on your shelf, especially if you're an Optimus Prime collector. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!